Ye, 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 ye. I got a Batman schnuggy. Very, very cozy. Avlon. Trey Avlon. What's, what is anxiety anyway? Anxiety is a feeling of unease such as fear or worry and it could vary from mild all the way to severe. And I feel as though everyone at some point in their life, whether they're conscious of it or not, experiences anxiety. There was one article in particular about Navy SEAL training and I was reading it and I was thinking, one beer got us like this, this is interesting. So let me explain a little bit about drown proofing to you. Drown proofing. Drown proofing is a method for surviving in water disaster scenarios without sinking or drowning. And it's commonly seen in Navy SEAL training. Participants in the training have their, their hands and their feet bound to limit their movement. You have to survive for five minutes in the water without drowning. But here's two lessons I learned from the activity itself and how it relates back to anxiety. So lesson one, the more you struggle to keep your, your head above water, the more likely you are to drown. And number two, the more you panic, the more oxygen you burn and the more likely you are to become unconscious. So don't struggle and don't panic are the two key takeaways from that exercise. And I know in my head, I'm thinking, bro, me? Me? I can't swim, so like, I'm drowning, innit? Like, I'm drowning, I'm gone. I, I hope the pearly gates has a doorbell car. I don't want to be knocking, like, I'm, I'm gone. And I know that. I need, I really, I really do need to learn how to swim, though. But here's the trick of getting through the activity. You actually have to let yourself go into a free fall state and let yourself sink. Once you reach the bottom of the pool, that's when you use your legs to push yourself back up off the bottom of it, all the way back up to the top and that is where you breathe and then you just do the same thing over and over again until the five minutes is up just like the participants who drown proof learning to let go is what helped them survive that must be the key so the first bit of wisdom i learned from my anxiety is being anxious about particular things shows me what's important so what i noticed i get anxious when i'm away from my family for long periods of time i used to take it as i'm nervous about a bunch of different things but what it really was telling me is maybe you just need to go home Maybe you need to just go somewhere where you feel safe. I didn't interpret it as that. All my anxiety was doing is showing me what's important. I think another great thing that anxiety done or does for me, it slows you down on purpose. I think for me, I don't always know when to say no, but sometimes that decision is literally taken out of my hands. I always interpreted it in a totally different way to that. Bow! Avlon. Trey Avlon. Avlon.